And MSU, the Aggies, well, they would be leading tonight if it wasn't for Golding making his debut at UTEP. That's because the Aggies, they played their first game inside the Pan American Center tonight in 615 days. Remember, this program had to relocate last season due to COVID restrictions. Aggies hosting UC Irvine in what was one of the top mid-major games in the country on opening night. And here's your first Aggies basket inside the Pan Am in 615 days. Jabari Rice to Will McNair, a thing of beauty. Only to be outdone by this man. Here comes Johnny. Johnny McCants with the flush. The opening half, though, it belonged to McNair. Hoop and harm here. He kept the Aggies in it and had him up five at the half. Second half, Teddy Allen. They call him Teddy Buckets. You're going to get the picture why. Dude can hit from pretty much anywhere on the floor. You see Irvine, they hung tough, though. One of the favorites in their conference. A big reason why this guy, Colin Welp, had 13 points on the night. But here's the dagger, Teddy Buckets. Three ball, corner pocket, three of his 14 points on the night. NMSU wins it 62-51. to KTSM 9's Colin Deaver was at the Pan Am tonight, and he was talking with the Aggies. It was by no means the prettiest game that's ever been played in this arena, but 615 days after the last game that New Mexico State played in the Pan American Center, the Aggies coming away with the only thing that matters, a big victory over UC Irvine to open the season on Tuesday night. The Anteaters, of course, harbor NCAA tournament hopes, as do the Aggies. This victory by New Mexico State could loom large come March Madness, and it was a huge test for New Mexico State as they go forward through their season, particularly with UTEP looming on Saturday night. I'm really happy that we played this game because... What a test. It tested us in a lot of ways. You know, it exposed us. And that's what these early season games do is you get exposed. And now myself and our staff and certainly the players uh, are going to know what we need to work on. It was very evident. The fans give you energy. Like, they bring that energy that sometimes, like, that the team might lack when we down three or something like that. So, like, I feel like that was a big piece. It's the first game, and I know it wasn't going to be as perfect, like, as we as we wanted to go. But, like, I feel like down the road, like, as we keep progressing and practicing, you know, doing what we got to do in practice, I feel like we're going to – nobody can beat us or nobody can play with us. Certainly plenty of things for New Mexico State to clean up before they do host the Miners on Saturday night. But one thing is for sure, these fan bases who have not seen each other since the 2019-2020 season due to the pandemic are very ready for this game, as are the players. Point guard Mario McKinney said in a word, it's going to be lit. Reporting from the Pan American Center, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports.